In this episode, we're heading south out of Prineville on Highway 27, which lazily winds along the Crooked River and eventually stops on the west side of the Prineville Reservoir. All along the river is BLM land, but they have designated campgrounds. For $8 a night, you can stay at a site that has a picnic table and fire pit along the river. There are also vault toilets and bins for garbage if you need them. We are at Chimney Rock BLM Campground. They do have designated spots. Wow, they have a really nice grill. Look at that. Well, that's the only place you can burn it. Right. And right behind us is the Crooked River. This is beautiful. We saw a bunch of folks fly fishing on the way in. It would be a beautiful place to do it. Morning. Morning. Well, we're going to the Chimney Rock Trail. Um, we're just camping right over there at the Kim Chimney Rock Campground. So it was just a hop, skip, and a jump across the road to get here. No hopping for us. Then. And yeah. Anyway, we're going to try this trail. It's a real short trail, but it's got some elevation to it. So we're going to be heading up in the crevice of two buttes, I guess it is. We're, we're in, in the, the canyon, canyon, so I don't know what you'd call those. Um, okay. That's is it up them. or down has right away? I think it's down has right away. Uh, I never, I could never. Down has right away. But... There's a road. Yeah. Not that road and that road. Us Flatlanders are truly enjoying these mountainous hikes with the epic views. Wow! Gotta be wind. Really? Yeah. Oh. I'm glad we had time to enjoy this area, but now it's time to head into Redmond to get our truck camper looked at. We did stop back at the Crook County RV Park to dump tanks and fill up on water to get us situated, and it only cost us $10 to do it there. We're heading to Pen Pack in Redmond, Oregon. We'll finally be able to meet the well-known Dan Pennington, who has a great reputation for working on host campers. If you're heading here, getting to the entrance is a little weird. It's literally to the right of that fenced-in storage area. Don't worry, you're going the right way. Full transparency here. The lot itself is pretty messy, but keep in mind, they do messy things so we don't have to. And you definitely know you're in the right place with the tons of campers around the building. So here's the situation. We are at Penpack RV to get our truck camper work done. And as we're finding out, probably not surprisingly, the process is going to take some time. There's actually still a couple of RVs ahead of us, and we honestly don't know how long it's going to be until they start working on it. So, um, instead of me being obsessive about timing and everything, I needed a different project. So, we're going to paint, and Gary is immensely thrilled about this. This seems like an opportune time, so what do you think? I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. 
Get nothing out of you? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Nothing. Although it will keep you busy and keep you out of my hair. So. Yeah. You know, there is a bonus there for you somewhere. As long as you keep paying in the tray and on the walls, I'll be perfectly happy. Gary is like a kid in a candy store. He's been following these guys around here while we've been uh, parking and just basically trying to glean all the information you can from the folks that fix these host campers. All right, for those that are interested, they had this tape that was across the seams, kind of like this tape that is kind of falling off here. I decided instead to take that off and then caulk the seams. I am using a super stretch sealant that hopefully will be good. And I have cleaned all of the walls with the Simple Green. And now I'm putting a primer on. We ended up going with the Seal Grip from PPG. It's supposed to be good to put over, uh, over wallpaper. So um, I, I've heard varying reviews. Some say it's awesome, some say it totally sucks. Uh, we're going to find out. We've been taking off these pieces. I think Gary is concerned about me getting paint everywhere. For these seams here, I basically am just using some spackle. A little bit of spackle. Yeah, I said a little. Yeah. What are you saying? You get carried away. No, never. We are living in here while we're doing this. So far, the big challenge has been moving all of our crap from one area to another. Um, so we can get it done. I think it's looking nice. We were debating about whether we should um, paint the ceiling in the same color. I left it white for now and I think I like that. It adds a little bit more brightness in here. This is just kind of fun slowly peeling this off. If you go slow the adhesive comes with and then you just need to clean it. This stuff is super sticky. So the wallpaper that Host uses has a little bit of crosshatch thing. So there's a little bit of a texture to this, uh, which actually makes the walls look kind of neat, I thought. Uh, so you can still see that little bit of texture, more of the vertical um, in there, but still some of that texture. Yeah, and Gary makes a good point is that uh, when you're using a paintbrush, you can't see the uh, paintbrush marks as much. And as with typical in painting, um, it's all about the prep work. And most of that prep work Gary has been doing <laughs> for me. Uh, we have to move the couch in order to get that back area and over That's here. Yours and we want to make sure to remove this um, in order to paint. So Gary is having to remove the recliners to give us access. And this is what our truck camper looks like as we're painting the back wall. <sighs> we're getting there though. Just a lot of stuff everywhere. For those of you that have the older blinds from host we ended up moving removing those side pieces just to try to reduce some of the weight of them not physical weight just um, visual weight so we are only using the top piece um, but if you've ac actually taken one of these apart uh, these brackets are actually um, mounted in here what i what we ended up doing in order to get around it is added just a couple of pieces of wood and then um, added some brackets here on the top and then this dojabi just snaps in there so it gives you a slightly less gives you a little less bulk on the sides uh, without having to spend money on a whole new uh, a new valance uh, I'm still struggling with the right thing to put on these windows. I want something light and airy, but uh, Gary doesn't want to get rid of the valances, and I, 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 I'm, I'm hard pressed to understand that. But that's where we are. So let us know in the comments below if you have ideas. 
with everything going on around here, I did not do as good of a job for dinner, so I am throwing together a very quick meal and I thought I'd share. This is potato nochi and I used some bagged meatballs here. I always keep cans of diced fire roasted tomatoes around, so I threw a can of that in there after sauteing some onions and peppers. Threw that in there tablespoon of tomato paste and your spices. Salt, pepper, garlic, oregano, and basil in there. In basically 15 minutes, I've got a, um, a home cook style meal. Throw some Parmesan on there and we are golden. And now it's gourmet. I won't say feed me, Owen. That would be terrible. Yeah, you better, because it might be on your lap. <laughs> so this is why we're um, working on our camper here at Pen Pack. So um, we just took this strip down that's on the bottom side here, and you can kind of see why we're having to do that, because this is supposed to be flat up against the bottom, and the underside is getting wet and moldy, so we're going to have to fix that so it's delaminated off that other piece. So we're going to do that. First, we're going to take this front cap off right here, see if there's any moisture up there, and let it dry out. 